Welcome, loves. I am Nick, baby. I am your reader. This is the Phoenix Tarot Tribe. I do not have my mic on. It ain't far. But I just don't want to be confined. Plus, um, you know, I don't know. I just don't want to be restricted right now. So somebody may be in the energy of not being restricted. All right. This is a collective Taurus energy read. The person on your mind. Whoever pops in your mind, that's what we talking about today. Okay, love? I love the vibes. Um, What else you need to know? Those of you that are new, welcome if this video found you. There are messages in it for you. If you are returning back, welcome, loves. I appreciate you being here, whether you're new or old, baby. Let's go ahead and get some... Hold on, y'all. I got to figure this one out. All right. In, in honor of the full moon coming in a couple days, wait... In a day? Is it tomorrow? Sheesh. I gotta go look it up, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna have to go look it up. There's a full moon coming. All right. Full moons are about releasing. So we are using the Black Moon Lilith deck, which says break free and reclaim your power. Call back your power, love. Whoever I'm talking to, you need to call back your power. Send people back days because people out here just playing in people's energy. Having a field day. We ain't about to keep doing that. Respectfully. Okay. All right, spirit guides and ancestors, show us what we need to know. Happy birthday, Taurus. How was your birthday? Tell me down in the comments. I hope everyone had a birthday just as amazing as you are. Spirit guides and ancestors, can we get one, please? We just need one for the overall energy. Let's see what that is going to be. We got Black Moon Lilith in Sagittarius. Free yourself. What are we talking about right now? I already said in relation to the moon in honor of the moon i see 222 two, two on the timer i mean on the camera we are releasing things that no longer serve us okay baby free yourself you may have sagittarius in your chart but i am going to put the description down in the comments so no worries I, i'm just not going to take up a lot of time because i want to try to get to a few a few of these readings today okay so Black Moon Lilith in Sagittarius is a nine, y'all. Nines may be significant. It could also signify that you might be about to close out a cycle as well because it is, we are speaking about freeing yourself. If you're just entering a cycle, it's at the bottom of the day, then yeah, you wouldn't be at a nine. So respectfully, let's just, you know, be mindful. Well, all right. Spirit guys and ancestors, show us what we need to know about the person on Taurus's mind at this time. Ooh, baby, somebody got commitment on the brain. Okay, it says things are getting serious. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about it then. Let's see. Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got caution. Sorry, I'm all on the mic. I'm so sorry. I, if that was loud, I'm so sorry, love, because I was actually reaching over and didn't realize the mic was right there. We got caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself, though. Whatever it is, things should come to you naturally as they flow. Okay? That's what I'm getting the energy of. Spirit, give me another. We got intuition. Use your intuition in this situation with this person that you are currently invested in or want to invest in the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later baby ain't that the truth we done been there before let's not do that again okay so we're learning from our past mistakes and we're detaching letting things go that no longer this could even be an inter that no longer service this could even be an interracial commitment because what i see is uh they are interracial. Um, she does have on a, sh a bralette. Her brassiere is there, if you look. But 
I just got flagged the other day. I don't get flagged often. So I'm trying to chill a little bit. <laughs> you know, I always chill. So I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sweat the small stuff. We got confessions. Someone has something. Someone has to tell you something. Oh, it's giving us your baby. These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all that I could say, my chick on the side says she got one on the way. Oh, that's horrible. For someone, that might be the case. I send love and light. I hope not. Um, but spirit know what spirit doing, regardless. That's what I, I always have to be empathetic because I'm an empath and I can feel the hurt. But we also got to be practical. You got to balance it. If spirit had a baby plan, then that's what it was. Five, five, five on the timer. That's changed, but it could be conflict. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me about what's going on with this Taurus. Moving. Change of residence. Moving in with your partner. Okay. All right. So after this confession, someone may decide to combine households, combine things. Because I don't think this is just households. I get a feeling that it's something more. But I don't know why I wanted to do that again. But, uh, okay, spirit. Tell me what I need to know. Health. Okay, y'all. I'm very concerned. I am definitely going to tell y'all. I am very concerned. Yesterday, health came out for the Divine Masculine. And the... It came out in... It came out in the Divine Feminine. Right? And there was a Masculine that someone may have thought was divine because it was an emperor, but they were in reverse, y'all. All of this was clarified by Taurus energy. So I feel like whoever this is watches me. And if that's the case, okay, but these health issues, my mama don't say, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. So I just stopped. Okay, these health issues, it says health issues could arise. Someone was trying to pull the wool about their health. Shit, go watch the Divine Feminine. It'll be up by the time this is a Okay, I did it yesterday. I I think I'm going to be up tonight. Um, I'm going to try to get it posted tonight or tomorrow morning. At the bottom of the deck, we got pets again. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. Okay. And this pet could be anything that really needs your attention. For me, at this particular moment, we don't have pets, even though my babies want more. I just, we be so busy, but I got a lot of plants. So I've been giving them more love, okay? All right, let's jump into the tarot and, t and see what Spirit wants to tell us about this person. Wait a minute, I picked up the wrong deck, y'all. I'm sorry. This person that's on, on Taurus's mind spirit. Tell us what we need to know. Can we get some tarot out here? So we can get started with the clarifications about things that may be going on in your energy that you may be overlooking or unaware of. Because it does say, get more information. Don't overwork yourself and do not ignore the red flags, y'all. Don't do that. Tell us about commitment. Things are getting serious. Ooh, the sun. One of the best cards in the deck, baby. The sun, Leo energy. Leo energy. Okay. Oh, somebody dealing with a Leo or somebody in Leo energy. Happiness. This is this is ultimate happiness. It's just as good as the Ten of Cups for me in certain spreads you know that is the overall energy so i feel like that could be good spirit tell us about caution find more information don't overwork yourself they want to come out but they're not coming out y'all y'all see how that was going we got the judgment in reverse somebody's having self-doubt okay so don't overwork yourself it did fall over here to confessions i'm sorry this is where it's supposed to be y'all yes i was clarifying caution but confession came over here to, yeah, it's giving yeah. 
and I did just put this down where I didn't want it. Okay. All right, love. So let's continue on. Spirit, can you tell us about ca caution? Find out more information. We got the four of wands. Okay. That is that is definitely giving a marriage, y'all. I was gonna say commitment, but y'all see that big diamond. Caution, find out more. Don't overwork yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you again, <laughs> go watch the Divine Feminine Reading because a lot of things came out over there that somebody trying to keep hidden. I don't know what to say about that, but mm, we're going to continue on to intuition. Spirit, what is intuition? Okay, so this confession is going to be about someone from your past. The Six of Cups just flew out and flew over here. Okay, it could even be about somebody you got kids with. Somebody met... Oh no. Mm. Mm. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna skip past that one. Okay, spirit, tell me tell me about intuition. You know, I grew up in the analogy of just because it comes to your head, you ain't gotta say it. Because something spirit tell us is for us. Okay. Mm-hmm. Somebody is trying to become, come between somebody's happiness. Y'all just watch this flow. And I am one of those readers. When I say intuitive, psychic, clairvoyant, definitely. I am here. I hear things, but I watch how things move. This queen of swords flew out the deck over here. Y'all, I left a space for us to clarify the sun and things like that. Y'all seen she slid right in here. Somebody slid right in between this whatever this is connection with you taurus whoever that person is this queen of swords slid in the middle of it now that don't mean that this person is sleeping with this person but there is a confession because let's be clear 12 12 on the timer sometimes people come in between connections because they are unfulfilled in their own and you can tell she's in a energy of battle She got her sword up and she has a snake down her arm, okay? It's definitely giving me, it probably should have flew out in reverse, but I am going to leave her between because that's where she went. That's where she's supposed to be, I'm almost sure. But Spirit, tell us about intuition. The Six of Wands. Your intuition is leading you towards that victory. Whatever that is going to be for you, it is going to be a little different for a few of us. You know, some of us is financial goals. Some of us is family goals. Some of us is, you know, other things like spiritual. Spirit, tell us about moving. The five of wands, okay? Someone may move because there's conflict where they are. This is a lot of wands, y'all. This is a lot of fire energy. Six and four is ten. Why why I do four like that? Uh, six and four is ten, so something's a heavy burden for somebody, but I keep looking at where this Queen of Swords is, the way she's perched as if to swing at this four of wands. If she could have swung she would try to hit this this diamond these diamonds so yeah somebody is trying to come in between a connection already has came in between a connection so it does say caution find out more i don't know we gonna clarify that shit spirit sorry y'all <laughs> spirit tell us about health we got the knight of cups okay now Let's speak on this because what came out was the Knave of Cups yesterday. Spirit, give me another for health. We got the Six of Coins in reverse. And we're going to get a third one so we can move on. Somebody's smoking a cigarette. 
the Queen of Cups, I can smell it. Like, I don't smoke. So, I can smell a cigarette. And that might be somebody's health problems. Something has to do with a Queen of Cups, love. Somebody has two different energies in their energy, Taurus. You have multiple people in your energy. Now, the Queen of Swords is over there. I feel like she on bullshit. Honestly, I don't know. We're going to have to clarify that. But the health is the Queen of Cups. So I feel like somebody is breathing life into a situation and someone else is trying to kill it with the sword. So let's talk about how some people come in and they look good. And people could be like, oh, well, they're both beautiful. Okay, these are two very different energies, though. Yeah, they both upright. They both seem to be pleasurable enough. But this is very different from this. Okay. This is a no-nonsense energy. Um, it could be somebody just wanting the truth. Uh, things like that. But somebody... I don't know, y'all. I really got to clarify this more about this Queen of Cups into the Knight of Cups. Somebody is offering love to a Queen of Cups. I do see that clearly. But the Six of Coins in reverse, I feel like there's no more third parties. We got the Knave of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's the Page of Wands. Uh, good news, possibly. The shit. Not with the Ten of Swords under it. Couldn't have been. Two to Seven of Cups. Illusions. And that's what I was saying. These look like two very different energies because they are. Somebody took a leap on it. Now, which way did they go? Somebody is somebody taking a somebody taking a leap with the world. Somebody is letting something go. And that's why somebody is in this Queen of Swords energy. Taurus. Okay, so hmm, put people where they go. I don't know who you are in this scenario. What I do know is somebody is in love with the Queen of Cups and they ain't trying to be out here giving the two. They trying to invest in it. And somebody may have been in bad health. Like, if you think about bad health, it's not just always being sick, sick. It could be mental. Like, trying to figure out, okay, well, I was already connected because this Queen of Swords is up here with this commitment. She has something to do with a commitment. It could be her talking bad, speaking bad. Words are spells, y'all. That is black magic. Let's be clear. Somebody, she's trying to mess with somebody's happiness, some, some kind of commitment. Someone is trying to stop. Okay? I can't make it no clearer than this because Spirit is showing us commitment to the sun and somebody look at that she trying to i'm trying to come through there and f it all up so this is the type of person if you had a wedding and you just had like an open wedding announcement they would pop up and try to destroy all your happiness somebody is a sucker i said what i said but it is what it is one more time all right y'all Moving past that, caution. I feel like spirit is caution to the four of wands. Spirit is telling you to be cautious with, again, what you put out there. Protect this connection. Protect it. Get more information. Don't overwork yourself. I feel like this is something that needs to be protected. Because spirit know that somebody is trying to, I heard, see your downfall. That is so horrible. And intuitively, you know you're going to win because there's the six of wands. To intuition, you know you're going to win. So I don't know what this confession is. You got to know I got to clarify that. Uh, do I got another deck up here? And I do. Before I get into this, let's go ahead and clarify that. Do we need to clarify anything else? Uh, no, somebody moving because there's conflict around them. I understand that. That looks very clear to me. But these confessions with judgment in reverse, six of cups, somebody from your past. Okay. Somebody from your past might be confessing their love because they don't want you to walk away, Taurus. 
but it looks like you got somebody else that may work out a lot better for you, baby. Use your own discernment because your intuition is on point. Whatever is telling you. Spirit guides and ancestors, can you do us the blessing of clarifying confession with judgment in reverse and the six of cups, please? We got the page of pentacles coming in crossing. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay. So, you know, the page of pentacles, we going to start with that, but we're going to see what else spirit gives us. We got the four of cups. Okay. I'm going to lay these down here so I can see them. And, oh, okay. I think that, that'll work. One more spirit. They want to put, but they didn't come out. All right, y'all. <laughs> this is this queen of wands energy watching somebody is in despair watching and planning watching and planning they may have offered something small like a small offer with the page of pentacles this is someone from your past you may have a confession they may have a confession the confession might be like oh i want you back or whatever this is their plan to come in between your commitment or whatever you're going toward. Because this is a little bit all over the place. The energy is a little bit all over the place. But I feel like somebody's strategy was like, oh, they see you wanting to go toward a queen of cups. They know that you have love for this queen of cups. And they're like, hey, let's just work on it. You could have children with this person. I mean, the Four of Wands is a commitment. It could be children involved in a commitment as well. But mm, I feel like people, they're doing it to be strategic. And that's the truth of the matter. I said something needs to be protected. Archangel Michael might be here trying to help you uh, protect this connection. Because things are hidden with the moon. Cancerian, Piscean energy. Again, we got cancer out here. Nine of Pentacles, somebody self-reliable, independent, false energy, sexy, doing what they want. You made a decision or you need to make the decision. Shit or get off the pot is what I heard. And we got the Ace of Cups again. Do you want what God got for you or are you going to keep playing around? That's <laughs> Oh, who spirit guys is this? Because they ain't even trying to play with you, baby. They ain't come to play. They said, do you want what spirit got or are you going to keep playing around with that? I heard you can get with this or you can get with that. That is a song from the 90s. I have not heard that in forever. And I might want to go uh, find it on YouTube. <laughs> you could get with this. Yeah, because that's kind of whack. Oh, y'all, that's funny. Somebody's spirit guides and ancestors are comical. I love the vibes, though, Taurus. I know y'all be kicking it. All right, spirit. Can you tell us about the sun? No, hell no. Hold on, we gonna pull these off because we seen these, we know what this is. All right, we gonna leave these over here. We got to know about this Queen of Swords. That's what I should have clarified first. Sorry, y'all. I'm moving on and acting like it ain't a thing. It's a thing because I want to know what the, is really good. I'm here, Mr. Biggs. What the hell is going on? Yeah, y'all know the song. Contagious. Baby, we got health out here too? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. That is not what I want to hear. All right, we going we gonna to clarify this Queen of Swords before we move on, y'all. Spirit guides and ancestors, please show us what we need to know about this Queen of Swords energy. Make it clear for my Tauruses. Uh-huh. Seven of Wands. Somebody you supposed to be standing your ground with. Can we get another? Somebody you not moving forward with. Three of Wands in reverse. Spirit said, let it go. Let it go. I told y'all what I just heard. You want that or you want this? Spirit, give me one more, please. 
you're not supposed to be working with this person. Everything, almost everything came out in reverse. Three of Pentacles, three of wands, seven of wands. Y'all, what that mean? That mean this person is not for you at the bottom of the deck. We got the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Fast acting movement. It is time to move on is what I'm hearing. And again, with that fighting and fussing and stuff, it's actual that you may be moving quickly. Literal moving. Somebody is physically moving locations quickly. It may happen in the middle of the night. Somebody might be on tomfoolery. Because I don't always have to cuss to, to say what I'm trying to say. And I know I already <laughs> I already shuffled y'all. But I don't know why I was led to do it again. But I'm, I'm only going to do it one time. And now look, they only want to go back together. Oh, that's too much. Okay, let's get out here and let's get to it, baby. I said, <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But just for good measure, we might as well do one more. Because I like threes. The Trinity. Y'all know what it is. All right, Spirit. Clarify. What else do we need to know about the sun and commitment? Thank you. It won't flip out. It didn't, though. Ooh, we got the page of coins over here. The three of coins. And, well, there's something behind it, y'all. The three of coins. And the six of wands came in crossing over here. So somebody was expecting a victory from this little plan. They was, they were thinking that they were going to come in with this small offer. Oh, I missed you. This is my confession. I love you. We're supposed to be together. Don't call judgment on me. Put you in self-doubt in your head. Because I do feel like this is self-doubt. You know, the judgment could be many things, but what I feel is like a somebody is real sure about what they're doing and somebody is not. I got that from the beginning of the reading. Spirit, tell me about the sun. Oh, now we don't we don't got no cards when to come out. Really? That that's whack. It's like not. We got the strength. Okay, so. Things may be weary, but you still have strength. Strength to the sun, to commitment. So, I don't know. I don't know what would make you feel like you don't have the strength or someone may not see that you have the strength to continue moving toward your sun. And I kind of feel like somebody can't see because the sun over here and she looking this way trying to cut down this union. Okay, so somebody may think that you really ain't going to leave them. That's what I'm getting out of this. Spirit, tell me about caution and the Four of Wands. Yeah, it's the tower. Aries energy. Okay, so there's going to be a tower. Okay. Just had to sit with it for a minute. See what Spirit wanted to say. That was it. It's going to be a tower. Spirit, tell us about intuition and the Six of Wands. You got to have this tower before you can get this victory, baby. Well, 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 well. We got the King of Wands to the Ace of Coins to the King of Swords, baby. Baby, baby. Far air money. <laughs> All I heard was money, power, respect. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that's for, love. Okay. Money, power, respect. But it's by Jay-Z. Somebody may love Jay-Z. We got Jafar with the uh, King of Wands to this uh, Six of Wands. I told y'all, there's a lot of Wands energy out here. We got the Ace of Coins. This could be you. This could be your brand new beginning. And then we have the King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then, of course, we got Earth. Y'all, intuitively, this could be one person. They're analytical, but they still have passion and drive to go after the things that they want so that they can be victorious. 
I, I kind of can see that, but for some of y'all, this is two people. Use your discernment because what's in between those two people? Money, baby. In that divine, in that divine um, feminine read, somebody was posing as a love interest to get someone's money. Okay? So, um, yeah, be mindful. People can embody whatever energy that they think could get people on their side. So use your discernment. Spirit, tell me about confession. We'll just call it confession with the judgment in reverse and the six of cups. Well, we got the ace of cups to the hanged man, Pisces energy. To the Knight of Coins, which will be the Knight of Pentacles, to the Chariot, y'all. I don't know what that is vibrating. I hope it's not vibrating my phone, cause I thought three of my phones were upstairs. Um, to the Temperance. Now let's walk through this together. Okay, we already knew somebody want to offer love to a queen of cups. That's what's up. Love the vibes. If that's where your heart is, do that. Okay, ace of cups, big love. For someone having a change in perspective, like I said, they may look like both aesthetically pleasing, but on the inside, baby, where it count, they're not the same. They're not. Okay be smart about it um not saying that anyone is less because they are more of an analytical thinker but i'm just saying some people need that balance so if you're analytical and you're grounded and things like that you may want somebody to bring in the nurturing side if that's something that you lack you know that you lack so you would not get into a relationship with someone that is that same way you would want somebody opposites to track y'all Okay, you would want somebody loving and nurturing, kind, compassionate, intuitive. I don't think intuitive always comes into play, but I'm going to say intuitive because it is the Queen of Cups. But we got the Knight of Coins, slowest moving night in the deck. So something's been held up, and I feel like it was because of another energy. But things are moving now with the Chariot Cancer energy. Because Spirit done stepped in with the Temperance. Yes, this is the snake from what's the name? But Regardless of whatever happened, it's the it's an eel. I don't know why I said the snake. Regardless of whatever happened in the past, the wheel is turning. Okay. The chariot goes forward with what? Victory and success. Y'all always gonna hear me say that. That was the first arcana I ever learned because that is my my sign. That's my major arcana. So if I don't say nothing else, goes forward with victory and success. There's many other aspects to it, but we can clearly see that this knight of pentacles this knight of coins was coming in slow they could even be coming in fast now because of spirit stepping in because we got the knight of coins clarified with the chariot the chariot ain't moving slow baby i'm here move bitch get out the way luda so definitely believe trust and believe that spirit is working on something and somebody gonna have to get out the way my nose is itching yo it's on point Spirit, tell me about moving in this Five of Wands energy. The Three of Cups. Now, this could be moving for a celebration or... I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't even know. Spirit, we were not a deck to clarify with now. Let's go ahead, because I don't like to clarify with a I don't clarify with a deck I was already using. I try not to. While we right here, we're gonna go ahead and ask. All right, spirit. Tell us about this three of cups for moving to the five of wands for Taurus or the person on Taurus's mind. Taurus, is this the Queen of Cups on your mind? There's a Queen of Cups in your energy that's on your mind you want to offer love to. But there has to be a tower first. 
So there, there's still a lot of obstacles that could be in the road for this situation, but don't give up because things are moving and they moving fast, baby. Spirit, please tell us about the five of wands. The three of cups. Oh, okay. Somebody wants to celebrate. It's the Ace of Cups, y'all. <laughs> I, I don't know. It was some tomfoolery. I just did not want to be involved. At the bottom of this deck, we got a three of coins. Somebody you want to work on it with. Collaborate with. Ooh, I love the vibes. I love the vibes. All right, now we can move forward. Let's talk about it. I'm not about to do that again, y'all. Spirit, tell us about health. This queen of cups, this knight of cups, two to six of coins in reverse to the queen of cups. It was fated to happen. Everything was fated to happen, love. With this Wheel of Fortune, it flew over here to the tower, even though I was clarifying. It was clarifying for this Queen of Cups to come into someone's life. They needed this energy in their life because it's funny that I would just speak on balance. I don't always speak on that part of the Queen of Cups when I do my readings. Anybody that's been with me since I started, y'all know that. You know, I hit y'all with the basics. <laughs> but something was fated to happen. Spirit knew this was going to happen. I think spirit needed someone to see that there typically is two different energies that you're attracted to. But once you get past the aesthetic of it, there's one that definitely is far more superior. Because if you look at the flower, is this a lily? It's a rose, some some sort of rose. But when I picked it up, it looked like a, a well, I was about to say a flower again. It looked like um, a star. This this Cancerian energy has healing properties. It's definitely giving, like I said, it's giving, someone is pouring into your cup. And this, whoever this is, wasn't even paying no attention to that cup. Look how his eyes is just up. He in his head. In his head because I don't know he could be in his head for many different reasons it could be because he's in love there's a bird right there and I do say like certain birds do do mate for life but y'all I can't get this up hold on all right now we are gonna look at on the aesthetic of it all right one is more menacing than the other. Not saying by far that a cancer can't hold their own. Don't ever think that, baby. You'd be a fool. But this queen of swords, spiteful ass tongue, cut you down with her words. Just, I mean, I'm not saying the queen of swords upright is definitely that negative, no. But I know what I feel with this seven of wands and this fighting because we were clarifying the fighting. This person ain't even supposed to be in this read. <laughs> yeah. I heard somebody say, get up. Somebody wants somebody to go. Get up. Oh, well, someone's, someone is definitely doing what spirit told them to do. And they're going to follow their intuition. I love that. This King of Swords, this King of Wands, they got a brand new opportunity coming out here, baby. Did I not just say? This is why I listen to my spirit guide and my ancestors. Maybe if you don't know, this is the star. I just said, before I could even say the words, I was going to spirit tell us about the Queen of Cups. I just told y'all, this Queen of Cups is a healer. It's a healer. She's a healer. He's a healer. We all have masculine and feminine energy in us. Aquarius is out here. Big Aquarius energy. Shout out to the Aquarius. At the bottom of the deck, love, we got the Knight of Swords. Okay. We know what it takes. Wait, we might as well keep looking. The Knight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, to the Ace of Swords. Baby, that's nine swords. Somebody stuck in their head about the truth. 
So as much as this Queen of Swords wants to cut somebody down because this confession, somebody may confess about this Queen of Cups. Just I just hear somebody randomly saying like, yeah, and what? You thought you knew something, but you didn't even really know how. And I all I've had on my mind today was I know you see it by Young Jock. Just the chorus, not the whole song. Where somebody is watching, somebody is watching someone. Y'all seen that page of swords out here? <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and move toward getting closing messages, y'all. I didn't expect to have y'all here this long. I'm sorry. We had to clarify that we got to get one with spirit and see what we need to know about the person on your mind. Because this is about the person on your mind. This queen of cups, okay? Somebody wants to offer love. Do that. Spirit said do it. I second it. Spirit, can we get one? Thank you. A win-win outcome is forecast. What I said, did it. Do it. Do it again after that. Because spirit is on your side. We got the temperance out here. We got aces out here. It's one, two, three. It, I've seen the ace, what, four times? Three, four times? Y'all, spirit is blessing us. Whatever this connection is. It could be a friendship that turns into a relationship. It could be a relationship. It could be a marriage. A relationship turning into a marriage. Okay? Whatever it is, spirit is on it. So, stay prayed up. Because somebody want to fight about it. They can't change it. It's time to release negativity. <laughs> Y'all, I told you, whoever spirit guys this is, I love them. Send them love because they just made this real easy for me. Made it real easy, baby. It's real easy to see. Let's go ahead and grab a karma since we're here. Grab one of the karma cards. I just got these, y'all. I really don't know how to use them. We gonna, when they come out, I just read the side that's sticking it. That's all I did. Oh, we got full moon in Libra, full moon in Scorpio. Didn't we just come out of full moon in Scorpio? Full moons are about releasing, y'all. We about to go into another full moon in Saggy, um, the 23rd. So, definitely release whoever this Queen of Swords is because they're actually being sneaky. That came out in the Divine Masculine's reading. This really, sometimes these readings be tied in. Like, it's a woven web. And now, that's why I know, pull three, four decks that spirit tell me. Sometimes I used to be like, nah, I don't want to do all that. But somebody need that kind of clarification. I know it was points when I did. And the reader would get up. Shout out to Empress Eva. Yeah, because she would get up and clarify. And I'd be like, okay, Lord, I don't understand what, what, what's going on. Like, hold on, y'all. I'm about to, hold on. I, I know just the deck. I'm about to figure this out. We're going to figure this out together. I love me some her. When I get a chance, I do watch her, mostly in the middle of the night while I'm baking, but still, <laughs> I still show love. We got uh, granting of blessings from good fortune, Jupiter energy. It's luck. It's luck, baby. Pisces. It's feeling like big Pisces energy. I love it because Pisces is ruled by Jupiter and Uranus. I think I said Neptune the other day, but they're ru ruled by Jupiter and Uranus. I got two of them. I don't know how I'll be forgetting. Ooh, this is... I told you, spirit is all over this. This is nothing but positive energy for the positive people. Anybody that was in low vibrational energy that we clarified, y'all seen that stuff came out in reverse. Or as negative cards. Blockages. Okay. Sagittarius, full moon in Sagittarius. No, that was full moon in Scorpio. Excuse me. That didn't even say full moon. It said free yourself. Y'all, it'd be crazy because sometimes I get all caught up in it and I'll forget like a particular thing as I'm trying to explain something else. This says free yourself. Clearly, free yourself from this crazy person that think that they going to dictate your life. I heard the word dictate. I heard tyrant before that. That's why I stopped like tyrant. Tyrant your life? Like, ah, oh, nah, that, that don't go together. <laughs> we know. We know. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to 
your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So your new person is Queen of Cups. Y'all need to be playful. Hang out. Chill. Don't don't expect too too much. I mean, it could be a heavy energy, especially going through all this fussing and fighting. Y'all need to be able to find that balance because fussing and fighting with somebody all the time, it's gonna wreck <laughs> wreck. It's gonna wreak havoc on your heart and your mind. Okay? So you need this this playful time with your Queen of Cups so that you can still find balance. I mean, because we can't really give up on life. That's not what we doing over here, okay? We healing and chilling. <laughs> I think I said it before. We chilling and healing. Okay, yep, loves. If you can, go ahead and like the video. I appreciate it. If you vibrate with how I read and you are not already subscribed, if you, let me stop and say, if you keep seeing me on your timeline, on your landing page, you're part of our family. Spirit is telling you, go ahead hit that button turn that bell on so when we get together and we congregate and we're uplifting each other you can be a part of a family that is here for you it's more than just the family we were born into that can love us whoever that's for but this has been a beautiful reading Taurus the person in your mind you gonna get them it's gonna be healed it's gonna be wish fulfillment with the star Anything you need from me is down in the description box. I appreciate you all being here. I don't think it's nothing else I need to say to y'all. So with that said, I bid you adieu. I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance, baby. But above all things, I wish you love. So until next time, I love you all.